Today I'm going to show you an easy way to get started playing your old Amiga games on your Windows PC. That program is FSUAE. You can download it from fs-uae.net. FSUAE 3.1 has two downloads. When you download, make sure that they are in a folder together. Next you'll need startup ROMs. These are part of the Amiga operating system and sadly they don't come with the emulator. They can legally be purchased from Amiga Forever or I can't recommend that you go to your favorite search engine and type in Amiga Kickstart ROMs. And the most important part is the games themselves. There is a range of sites that provide these. I recommend that you look out for the WHD load versions of games which are in the LHA format. These are the best that are found and I've got another video all about that on that subject. One more thing that we need to do is we also need to create an account on openretro.org. This is a database of Amiga games and it will be used by FSUAE. Let's go ahead and install FSUAE. Go to the first zip file, FSUAE, and right click and then I've got 7-zip installed. I just go to extract here and extract all the files into a folder called FSUAE. Same for FSUAE launcher, go to 7-zip, go to extract here, wait for that to complete and then you can safely delete the two zip files. We should now be left with in the folder FSUAE and FSUAE Launcher. You need these two folders in the same area. Next, we're gonna load up FSUAE Launcher. So we need to go into that folder, into Windows, x86-64, scroll down, and then find FSUAE Launcher. You can make a shortcut to the desktop, which I highly recommend. And open up FSUAE Launcher, and you should be presented with a similar layout to this. First, we're going to log into the Open Retro. Click on the Amiga tick and click on Login. This is where you type in your login credentials for Open Retro, which you've just made. Then we just need to wait for the database to download and update. Once that's complete, we now need to import our Kickstart ROMs. So go to Main Menu, Import Kickstarts, and then we've got a couple of options. Now, if you've downloaded your Kickstarts from somewhere other than Amiga Forever, then you just need to click Browse and find the folder that contains your ROM files and then click on Import. I have the Amiga Forever pack and it's actually detected the installation of that. You can see that there's loads of green ticks. Once that's done, you can close, close that. Next, we need to tell it where our games are. I have my games in a folder called Some Games, and there's some WHD load games that I've got. I'm going to copy those, and then I'm going to go to my C drive, under Users, go to my username. In this example, it's Tutorial. And then I'm looking for the FSUAE folder. Double click on that. We're going to make a new folder and that's going to be called WHD load. Within that folder, we just copy those files across. Next, we go to the Amiga green tick, go to update file database. So click on the plus, select WHD load, and then click select folder. It should then appear in the list. Click scan, and now it's going to look through all of those games that are in that folder. There we go. It's now done. Click on close. And then just to make things a little bit easier, I'm going to show you some settings that I tend to use. Amiga tick again, go to settings, go to games database, and then under the database games, select available games. This will reduce the list greatly and will only show the games that you have downloaded. That is the basic setup of FSUAE. Now I've just plugged in an Xbox controller and what I'm going to do is select that. Sometimes it doesn't appear, uh, so what you just need to do is close down FSUAE, open it up again, and it should default to, there we go, Xbox controller. You're just going to choose a game, double click on it, 
if you want to maximize it can do alt and enter if you need to get out of the game you press f12 and it comes up with a menu so you can pause the emulator if you want and to quit you go all the way up to the top and press x that's the quick way to get into playing amiga games on your windows machine hope you've enjoyed this video thanks for watching